Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell Precision 5530 model. This exact model comes with a Xeon E2176 and processor and you might have a different version with an iCore 5, iCore 7 but in this video I'm gonna take you on uh, step by step how you can open it up and how you can access the internal storage in here and what are the combination and the limits that you can have in here just remember if you replace the main storage which comes with i think one 500 gig nvme ssd you can replace them but once you do that you have to reinstall the windows i made a short video how to create your windows 10 or 11 usb boot drive i made another video how to install it properly on your dell laptop so you don't get those extra blood work on your system Follow the, any of the, my Dell installation videos to install your Windows. It takes up to 5 to 10 minutes probably on this laptop or less. Once you're in the desktop, you can just do a Windows update. You install all the drivers and you're set to go with a fresh install of the Windows. All right. Uh, so with all this set, so let's get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop, back up your files. I should say back up your files and then power it off. I'll go over the tool I'll be using. A uh, good screwdriver set is always recommended. I fix it screwdrivers. These are one of the best screwdrivers I came around. I've been using. And they have a really good screw bit. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one and a torque number five. With these two sets, we're gonna get it started. All right. First we're gonna use torque five. And we're gonna remove all the screws from the side to back and in the front of the laptop. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So pretty much start uh, removing them and keep them in one single pile. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a video comment. Appreciate that. All right. Once we remove all the screws on here, we're still not done because there's a two hidden screws that we need to remove, and those are Phillips screw screws. So change back to Phillips number one. You want to put your fingers on the bottom here where there's a tiny little gap, and lift up this tiny hidden cover. There's a laptop information right over here. I see there's a tiny magnet here. I think. All right, we're gonna remove these two Phillips squares. Let's pull them out. All right, once you're done with this one, simply what you wanna do, you wanna put two fingers right on the hinge, palms here, and lift up this cover, and bring it up. And right away there, we can see the rather well, empty space in here, so I don't know if somebody you can put in a comment if yours is the same, because I see that there's a one, two, three screws for the caddy, and there's one missing screw right in here. I don't know if there was a hard drive caddy in here. They pretty much they look something like this. It's just a bracket and that holds the hard drive in place. It has to have a screw hole matching in here. And sometimes they come with a screws right like this. You can put the hard drive in here, grab any four terabyte SSD, put them in here screw it down and then put the four screws in here and it should have a little tiny adapter from here that goes on the drive and it snaps right over on this connector right in here which says HDD but if you do have a, this adapter uh, you can put a 2.5 inch 4 terabyte SSD or you can put a 2 terabyte low profile mechanical drive because anything over 2 terabyte mechanical drive will be thick and it will not fit in here. So if you do have yours with a cable adapter in here, you can go with a 4 terabyte SSD without touching the main storage to Windows and have an extra space. And if you have the adapter but you don't have the bracket, don't worry, any SSD with a double sided foam tape, you can just glue it in there or just put it there and it's not gonna go anywhere. So not the carry is not a essential for the uh, SSDs. I'll try to get the link for this one in case you don't have, and uh, you can purchase it and put it in. Now, for the NVMe, there's only one DIMM available, which is right over here. 
is a Kingston 500 gig. To remove this one, you want to remove one screw at the back of the storage, right there, tiny screw. And the storage will come out in 45 degree angle. Now, what you want to do in here, you want to grab it and slide it backward in 45 degree angle. You don't want to yank it upward, otherwise you're going to break the SSD. So I do recommend you guys to grab the 980 Pro. The 980 Pro, these laptops, you can put an NVMe with double-sided chip up to 4 terabytes. With four ter anything over 2 terabytes will be double-sided chip. And this M.2 jack is high enough and there's no component here. So you can put a double-sided uh, NVMe, which that means there will be double-sided uh, memory chips. This is a single-sided. So you make sure the notch on the NVMe matches the notch right under them. You want to bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard and make sure the screw hole matches. And then you want to tighten up the screw right in there. Okay. So you can put a, I recommend you do a 980 Pro. These are really durable SSDs up to four terabyte. If you want to go four terabyte, you have to go with 990 Pro. But if you want to go up to two terabyte with 980 Pro, you can go in here with no problem. All right, with all that said, once you put the new storage in here, you don't need to disconnect the battery to do this service, absolutely not necessary. Just plug in the new storage in there, grab the bottom cover, or if you want, you can get that up to have the same thing, have a four terabyte storage in here and four terabyte NVMe at the same time with no problem. All right, once you're done with that, grab the bottom cover, put it right on top, push it down on the sides, and then grab the two screws in the middle, under the cover, put it on top, and put the rest of tiny screws all around the laptop. Don't forget that you will need to install your Windows once you put the new drive in there. Also, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out through your own upgrade for your Dell Precision laptop model 5530. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws and that should cover up today's video